So Big Show did actually lose 250 pounds from reading this book. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Just uh, reading the new um, uh, Degeneration X book. Uh, it's a, actually a really great read. Uh, and if you go to any uh, Barnes & Noble or Borders, I suggest picking you up. It's quite good. Kind of interesting how Sherry Shepard got one uh, last night on Monday Night Raw. Oh, well. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Um, as people may have heard, uh, Ken Ober recently passed away. He was one of my favorite game show hosts. Um, I remember him from uh, not only Remote Control on MTV, but also doing Smush on USA, Perfect Match on ESPN, and Make Me Laugh on Comedy Central. Uh, afterwards, he would go on to produce... Um, a uh, tough crowd of Colin Quinn and also be a DJ for various radio stations all across the country. Uh, this weekend he was found dead in his apartment in New York City. Uh, apparently it was from a heart attack. He was 52. Uh, Ken Ober is one of the, those unsung game show hosts of the 80s and the early 90s. Um, pretty much was a good host but he never got the props that he deserved. Um, he kept the show moving, and sure, his good hosting in seasons one through three of Remote Control were sort of gone when season five rolled along when they made too many changes to the show. Sure, it was still the same, but uh, Alicia Coppola and Susan Ashley were definitely not Kari War and Marisol Massey. It seemed like the magic was gone, and the show would be canceled after season five. And now, unfortunately, Ken Ober has left us. He was 52. I'd like to offer a tribute to Ken Ober, one of the one of a, a great game show host. May he rest in peace. It's a sad day here on sad day here at Whooping Cough Lang. He was he wasn't like the other kids. TV mattered. Nothing else did. Girl said yes, but he said no. And then he got his own game show. Remote control. Rest in peace, Ken. Rest in peace.